Saturday, two days before the big move to our new apartment. Now we're not moving elsewhere, we're staying in Birmingham, but I think you guys have heard me talk a lot on my channel about how cold our apartment was in Birmingham and um, noisy neighbours and stuff like that. So we finally decided we were gonna make the move, take the big leap of faith and go through all the stress as you will see in this upcoming vlog. So I do hope you will enjoy. Dad, you're super dad, aren't you? Don't look at me like that. You knew you were gonna come to my flat and be filmed. I could feel it tucked to close him down. The very moment I could say it out loud. Am I making work by feet him? Strength and pain to wash away the hurt. Days and wait a longer than you want to. Think I, I promise you I haven't just been sitting on the sofa all day, although the two clips that I've filmed have been on the sofa. It's not like we've been packing and cleaning the whole day. Because we haven't, we went to church and we also watched a film. We also walked over 10,000 steps today. I don't know how we managed that. We also went and visited our apart the apartment. I mean, we don't have keys yet, but I showed him where it was. Is all of my stuff. That's like the last few little bits and bobs. Tomorrow night, I will be in my new place. Guys, moving is stressful. I'm gonna get some sleep before the big day tomorrow. I move myself to the apartment tomorrow, but all of our stuff moves on Tuesday. Do you have anything to say to the vlog? No night. Have fun. Not too much fun. <laughs> Monday came round and honestly I was already feeling quite tired from the amount of packing I had done on the weekend. Normally I try and rest a bit on the weekends but it had been super super full on so I kind of felt like I was already going into the week a little bit tired. <laughs> Grown. We have grown in many ways. So plan is taking like some essentials over. I'm gonna stay the night there and then the removal van service is coming tomorrow to move everything with my dad while I'm at work. So <laughs> So we are here in the new place, this is my new bedroom. It looks so big compared to my last one and there's natural light, which is just like the best. And I don't want to show you everything, but this is like the type of vibe that we're going for. I'm so excited to do like a proper room tour once everything's kind of properly set in, but it's happened. We're happening, it's happening. It's gonna be a bit, a little bit scary when all the boxes arrive. Yeah, I'm trying to like plan out my, my apartment and everything. Oh, I'm so excited. Gotta unpack a couple of things. So disaster has already struck, not disaster, but they've come in and they've cut the electricity off. I thought I talked to the electricity providers, but obviously didn't do enough. So now my dad's trying to do that and I've now got to get to work. You know when you get hungry and you just stop being able to think? I've got to this stage now. I feel like I wanna go to sleep. So the electricity not working really did stress me out and I was having to talk to them on the phone literally right before company class, which normally I like to take lots of time to warm up. So that was really frustrating. So I've hardly vlogged. I got back to my new place. We just had dinner in the station because I just wasn't in the place to cook dinner tonight. It was very yummy. The electricity is on, so that's great. I didn't film any of my class or my four, four hours of rehearsals, but I am about to have my first bath in the new place, guys. I'm gonna show you my bathroom. Get ready. Okay. It's like heaven in here. That's all you're gonna see because we're gonna do an official like apartment tour and then I need some sleep because I'm so tired. <laughs> Guys, it's zero degrees in Birmingham and I'm actually not shivering in my own house. The move was worth it. 
Tuesday knocked round and honestly I wasn't feeling so great. Uh, it was a day we were gonna move all of our stuff. Just enjoying the space before all the boxes arrive and get ready for work. If I'm honest, um, moving is really stressful. It's the worst, worst bloated stomach from all through yesterday and today. I don't know what it is. It's not like I'm eating particularly bad or the stress levels have just gone past what my body is really capable of handling. The whole day of rehearsals today from like half 10 to half six. I'm moving this morning, the removal van guys are coming at nine, so I've got to get to my other apartment. My dad's already there. I think I've had my first night of sleep where I haven't been shivering. That's the reason why we've moved. So I'm happy with that. I've never done, I haven't done my intro yet, so hey guys, if you're around here, my name is Anna Martin. yesterday we went learned a load of new stuff in rehearsal and none of it really went in because my brain was like I'm moving I have no electricity in my apartment I need to go over a little bit of what we learned <laughs> This is all of it. So right after filming our little empty apartment, the removal company came, but there was a little bit of complication with that, which was very frustrating and difficult to deal with, but we managed it. I'm ready to leave this place. I'm ready for a new chapter. Here we go. Good. It's her birthday today. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Amazing, delicious. It's my, my banana bread recipe. Special girl's birthday, make sure to comment down below. Happy birthday. <laughs> this is lovely lady. She's spending the whole day in the castle. Yay! Yeah. We need to come see what we like. After the removal van scenario that morning, I was definitely really struggling to kind of keep my energy up throughout all of our six hours of rehearsals. But my dad was so sweet, he stayed a bit longer than he was planning to to make me dinner and run me a bath before he left that evening. So tired, oh my days. So Wednesday was the first day in my apartment on my own with all of my stuff. Um, Reagan has moved in with me. Um, she was just on tour while this was happening um, as we have slightly different rehearsal schedules right now. Um, so yeah, it was a nice time to kind of settle in, although I definitely did not feel settled. I was still trying to sort out the electricity company stuff. Um, so lots of phone calls. I don't know about you, but I find those phone calls the most stressful because they keep putting you on hold and then passing to the next person and then you have to explain the whole scenario again so my time with Jesus was looking a little bit tired as you can tell So I don't particularly like coffee, but it was actually essential for getting me through this tough week at work. I think more than anything this week has shown me how much I do focus on my work more than anything. The full rehearsal schedule in itself was quite intense, so having it alongside the move felt like mentally a lot to handle. I also had to go back to the old apartment to help with the viewing because we still had the keys for that one. And then Reagan was very sweet. She got back from tour and made me some dinner because she knew I was so stressed out. And um, just to top it off, I decided to go over material in the evening at like 10 p.m. at night because my brain at that point was so hyperactive with so much to process. Um, Thursday and Friday, I decided not to vlog them. Um, here's just a few clips of us in rehearsals. I just wanted to fully focus on work. And as you can tell, I was dealing with quite a lot already. Saturday was wonderful. We had the day off, so I decided to 
sort my life out. Um, my mum and my brother were coming in the evening to stay with me before going to Alton Towers on the Sunday. So I just spent the entire day emptying boxes, organising the kitchen, um, just sorting out everything and finally felt a little bit more at home. Angels we I'm just going to say it now, I'm fully aware that the music I have on this is a Christmas song. But we needed some Christmas cheer on this day. I actually didn't plan to go to Alton Towers with my family just because it was a little bit wet, a little bit cold, a little bit rainy. But actually it was really good just to get out of my apartment, um, get out of Birmingham and just get a little bit of fresh air because obviously I've been in the studio all day every day. So it was actually really welcome. And it's our first pizza night in the new place. And is a house really a home if you haven't done a bar in it? Just saying. So me and my brother on Monday morning decided to do a ballet bar. <sighs> Currently bank holiday Monday. I hardly vlogged the entire week. Kind of got to the second day of moving and decided I was way too stressed to properly talk to camera. It's been a few days. We've had a three day weekend, which to be honest was very much needed. I think it was one of the most stressful weeks ever. And that's saying something because I've had some stressful weeks here in Birmingham. I just didn't feel like I handled it very well mentally, which I was a bit disappointed in myself. It's been nice having this weekend to kind of get a little bit more settled i think it was just so difficult every night coming back to so many boxes and not having any energy to empty anything electricity didn't work when we came in so i had to call the companies while i was trying to also rehearse and what we were doing at work was lots of new material lots of learning new choreography so yeah we start work again tomorrow i think it's going to take me maybe a week or two to recover from this move not gonna lie i've also been struggling to get a hold of my point shoes if you're a ballet dancer you know Getting hold of point shoes sometimes can be a little bit of a struggle, so that was like an added stress. And so just a few things that kind of piled up on each other this week made the move not as smooth as I would have liked. But you know, here we are. I'm so happy with the place. I'm so happy we have moved. The room is so much bigger than it was before. I absolutely love it. Most fully decorated now. Thanks for coming with me on this journey. I have no idea what I really captured in this vlog. If anything, sorry for the delay in videos. Um, I love you all loads and um, there will be more videos coming soon. As soon as I can kind of get on top of my schedule. See you very soon. Oh, did you hear that? That was my elbow. See you very soon in my next video. Remember, dream big and make it happen. Thank you.